Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about how to create the tables and insert the record inside the tables. So at here I am using Toad for Oracle database. So at here in Oracle we can do anything by two ways. First is by graph query and next by query. So let's see by uh, first is query. So at here to create the table we have to use create a statement and here create table. And currently, I am using HR schema. Honor is HR, and inside the HR, we have uh, this table. So, I have EMP table not there. So, I am going to create the EMP table. Now, here after, let's give ID. So, ID is the column name. So, this would be number giving the size 12. And here, not null. Now, here of the name. So, this would be right there. And giving the size, and here, null. And not null. Now, here of the add less. So, this would be right there. And here, giving the size 33. And here of the, let's use semicolon. So if you execute here, so this is the execute statement. So see at here table it's created. Now here after refresh that, so see at here EMP table it's created. Now here after we have to uh, check the columns. So for this we have to use select start that to select all the columns. So select start from. So I just created EMP or table. Now here after execute that. So this is the columns at here that all selected. Now here after I'm going to insert the record inside the table. So for this we have to use insert statement. Insert into and here using the table EMP. And here after so we have three different Columns first is ID, next is name, and here after address. And uh, here, so let's give add your values. Values now here. So first, I'm going to give add your for integer. So one one here. So you can give any ID value. Now the next is name. So add your giving the name add your max. And here after let's give the address. So giving the address at here first. So if you have integer value, so no need to give any single column. And if you are using name, so here single column must be as is necessary. So this is the starting here, this is the ending. Now here after let's close by semicolon and execute this statement. So add here one row inserted. If you execute one more time, one more row inserted. So see add here two rows inserted here. Now here after let's give some other values. So one one three. And here after giving the name at here, yes and and here giving the address. Now, if you execute here this query, so see at here oh, one row inserted. If you want to see the records, so select at here. So see, select a start from yeah. So 113 JSON and Sydney it's displaying. So if you want to enter only ID and name, so you can also do that. So let's remove at here. Oh, this is the Sydney part. So this is the address. Now here after I'm going to give the name at here mark. And here giving 114. So if you execute the this insert a statement, so I'm getting the error message because not enough value. The reason is at here I passed three. 
uh, values but at here it's only two so i have passed at here three columns values only two so that here it's uh, uh, giving the error now here let's remove address now execute that so see at here one row inserted so see at here one one four and mark it's inserted now here after i'm just trying to enter at here address id and address and here giving the address kelly Pania. and here id giving at here 115 so if i'm going to insert at here so i'm getting the error masses the reason of error cannot insert null values the reason is id is the not null and here name is the not null and here address so i did not uh, specify at here that means you can it can be a null but at here the two must not be null so at here i only passed id and address so at here name is not null so at here the reason of error is so compiler at here the name i set at here not null so when i'm trying to insert the id and address but at here according to a uh, given according to time to create the tables i specify not null Ma that means name should not be null so if you execute this query so at your uh, add name is going to be trying to insert null values but we cannot do that because it said not null so that we have to enter at your name also id and name necessary so let's change at your name giving the name russell so at here i did not specify address any not null so it means it can be a null values so let's execute that so see at here uh, one row inserted and there are no any error execute so see at here in address there should be a null but at your id and name should not be into null so if you try to enter the null so you will get definitely error message so this is the difference between not null and null in oracle so here after the next thing is so let's create the table by using primary key so add here just copy that to save some times and here so create table and here going to give the name mp1 and here after Let's and here after let's give constraint or keyword and here first underscore pk. So pk indicate for primary key and here let's write primary key. Now here after giving the primary key on id. Now here after. So let's close my semicolon and here after execute this query. So add your uh, EMP1 already exit. Okay, let's change add your EMP app. And here. Now execute that. So see add your table, it's uh, created. The name is EMP app. Now here after refresh, so EMP1, EMP L table it's a created now here after I'm going to insert the records free record inside EMP app now here let's write EMP1 EMP L ID name and next is at rest A double D R E double S now here after values 115 And here, oh, let's give address. Now, here after, let's execute that. So, one row inserted. When I'm trying to insert the same record, so at here, I'm getting the error message. 
unique constant HR violet. So the, the reason is at a I said ID is the primary key. Primary key ID is the primary key. So if you say it at here a primary key on table primary key on any column so that should be unique and not null. So at here I am just trying to enter the duplicate values 115. So 115 already in the table. So see at here 11 select a star from EMPL. So inside the EMPL so 115 already there. So when I am trying to enter at here the same value so we cannot do if we state at here primary key primary key must be unique and not null. So at here let's uh, uh, give the value at here null for primary key. Now here I am going to enter this one. So again the uh, error message cannot insert none. So if you said in any table primary key, so primary key uh, cannot be null and the unique value it can accept. So if you execute here, so I said uh, uh, primary key on ID. So at here this would be unique. 115 cannot enter duplicate times. 115, 116, 117, you can enter like that. So this is the things, so this is the table created by primary key. So this is the way we can create the table by query method. Now that next method is to create the table graphically. So let's go to database and here after uh, go to create and here after you get the option table create. So first is the database create and table. Click there. Now here after OK and here. So this is the direct method. So you have to click on add call. So let's give add here. IT and here select the data types. So data types going to select number. So it should be if you want then here you can uh, give the size. Press and byte here that's all. So let's give add here primary key and primary key cannot be null. Now here after let's add. So add here name and name should be welcome. And here let's give the size 55. Now here after let's add another column. So name column lock. And here the lock uh, should be a uh, welcome. Or you can give add your cat. So let's give the size 33. Now here after after uh, creating this, so we have to give the so currently I'm using HR schema. If you want, then here you can change the schema also. So let's give add here the table name. So I'm going to give the table name EMP and one. Now if you click OK, so the add here EMP L1 it's not displaying so let's refresh that so EMPL it's now created so if you want then here you can see all the columns select extra from EMPL1 so currently there are no any records but add here three columns I just created by using direct method now if you want to insert the record, so EMP L1, ID name, address and here let's give some values 1, double zero, 1. Now if you execute that, so see, I'm getting invalid identifier. Okay, address could not be there. So if you execute this one, this table EMP L1. So see at here, id, name and lock. So see at here, one inserted, one row. Now X, let's see the record. So see at here, oh, 1001, Russ, Russ and Perth, it's inserted. So this is the another way to create the table. Now if you want to create the tables, so right click here after action console, here after you get action console and here after 
or you should select at your create table so at your create table click on select and click on ok now you get the same things at here so again the same thing you can add the columns here yeah. you can select the schema and keep the meaningful table name so this is the two way to create the table in oracle so at here i am using the editor dot now if you want to create the table in oracle sql developer so select any schema so let's select the schema so i am using at here hr here after let's click and click on new table and here after give the table name so add here tab for tab now here after so this will uh, here is the here by clicking this you can set this one primary key and here you can give the name so let's give emp id so this should be data number and here this should not be not null and here after if you click on plus so you can add multiple columns and here you can change the data types so this data types are available here and let's click on ok so see at here tab underscore test table it's a created and like this if you want to insert the record so just try or see at here this all those things that i just created so if you want to insert the record and if you want to create the table so let's copy this all and here paste it in here so this query will work inside at here or uh, oracle for sql developer so the same things here so tab underscore test so give at here or tab underscore test so there i have taken so many columns so we should give uh, just write at here tab underscore test and here let's execute this query so see at here this uh, this is the emp id this is the column and uh, this query also work inside oracle sql developer so you have two best editor in for oracle first is oracle sql developer and dot so this is the way we can create the table insert the record set primary key and here so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so if you have any doubt related to this video leave a comment definitely i will reply so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you